Hello everybody, this is Afiria Nick, and welcome back to some more SimCity. Now, in between this episode and the last episode, well, it was actually a few episodes ago, I don't remember exactly what video it was, I got a request. This tower will now be known as Livid Towers. A longtime viewer of mine known as Livid Gentleman, you'll probably see him in comment sections if you scroll down there. And, yeah, he asked if... He could be named after something in the city, and I need a name for the Mega Tower, so I decided to name this Mega Tower the Livid Tower. Which is actually quite fitting because I get kind of irritated at this all the freaking time about how the fact that no one in this tower is going out to work at any of these factories that are all now glowing a nice purple because they're all becoming franchises of Omega. Omega Omega. Which is getting us an absolute ton of money, so I think what I'm going to do is pay off this bond. We'll be getting even more off that, so about eight grand an hour. Now, my long time my long term plan for this, I'll talk to you in just a second. I want to get the refining I'm having some weird frame issues right now, but I want to get this to a point where I can actually place down. And by that I mean I want to be able to afford the refining division. Because then I won't necessarily need to rely on having these oil wells once the oil dries up. I don't believe that'll happen anytime soon. As far as I'm aware, there is a yeah, there's still a significant amount here. However, once that and that will eventually dry up. When that does, I want to be able to import oil and export it as fuel and still be able to make money off of it. I want to see what they have to say. Sorry, it's only so much space. No, I'm not building the arcology. Every single, like, every t five or ten- Look, look, see? That's gonna be the Arcology again, isn't it? Yep, build an Arcology. It's the exact same person, too. No, I'm not building an Arcology. I want to see how long it'll take for them to ask for- Oh, hey! You know, it'll be a great idea that you've told us you're not gonna do five times an Arcology. Yeah, you go ahead and turn your heat up. What do you want? That's- I think that's the school thing. The wheels on the bus go round and round. We need school bus stops. Yeah, yeah I might do that later. Actually, I probably should. I think that'd be a good idea. I want to see what they have to say about one. I'm assuming they're going to ask me to put more into here. Making 10 gr- Oh my gosh. We're making a ton of money right now. This is amazing. The fire shock for something more impressive. A large fire- You know, I'm actually considering that because I'm going to use some money on some water pumping stations and such things at some point soon. What do you have to say? Could use more income. Offers very generous profit sharing. Mega products. What do you What do you ask me to do? Prove that we can convert more factories to Mega, and you'll give me a friend a bonus. Okay, I mean it's only two and a half grand, but look, we already did it. We just got a free two thousand five hundred dollars from a company that is already making us just an absurd amount of money. This feels really cheaty. That's the thing; cause you're getting so much money off it so quickly. But one of the things I wanted to place, I wanted to get a water pumping station going, but I don't know where to put it. We're gonna get a ton of pollution if we do it over there. I'm thinking right here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a sewage treatment facility over here that will turn sewage into water. And this will only cost us about 400 an hour, as far as I'm aware. I'm trying to get this over as far as I can there. I think that's good. And that shouldn't be infringing on any oil, should it? No, it's not. Well, a very minor amount of oil. But who cares if they get oil in their water? I don't. Does this have a sign? I can't. It does not have a sign, but it has filtration pumps. We'll put more of those, we'll put those on as we need them, but we're not going to need them for a particularly decent amount of time, I don't think. Because sewage, is, it's okay. Apparently they're, how these are, oh, well, it's because they're on that side. I always forget how finicky these work, where they have to connect at a certain point, or else these ones will get a bit of an overload. You know, I'm te I would place this, but, you know what, we're going to get, it's not like we're not going to get that money back fairly soon, you know? I mean, we might as well get that there, and then we can turn off some of these pipes. Of course, once that's actually running, because if we turn that off before it starts running, then we might have some problems. Economic attraction. Mayor, to advance Midgar into the future, we need high wealth workers. No, we're not having high wealth workers. I refuse that. This will be a slum city. Who are you? I mean, what do you want? I know who you are. You're a water- <laughs> The water tower's talking. The future. You know, I very well may have put in some futuristic stuff around here. I'm trying to think how the tech level of the tech level in Final Fantasy VII's Midgar was fairly. Ah, no. I mean, if I want to do that, I will. It's only a grand, but 50 barrels of fuel per hour. That's. Oh, this is oil, not fuel. 
when did I get that? I don't remember this. It's been a week since I've played, so there's a lot of things I don't remember. And I might not, this probably won't be a tourist trap city. I'll probably take that back at some point. But anyway, now we can start turning, wow. Oh wow, the frames. I just went to single digits for a second there. Holy crap. And these are all just obsolete now, right? This should be. Turn you off. I'm tempt. I'm worried that this will cause a. Why did it? <laughs> why did it? Why did a woman just shout Annie at me? My name's not Annie. Yeah, these are all pretty much all obsolete now. There we go. Oh great, we're gonna. Actually, we might have to put another tank over here. We'll see how that fluctuates in a minute. Lots of health issues. Okay, we need to work on this infrastructure. Wow. What do you need? You need more rooms. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I was... I, I probably should have done this to begin with. <laughs> Upgraded this earlier, but... We didn't really have a lot of money to expend at that point. And let's be honest, we have almost nothing but money to expend now. And... Oh, well... I don't want to put any more down than that right now, but that should keep us afloat for a very long time. And all cars are on patrol. They need more cars. And this time they generally do. It's not like over in Bean Nation where they were just whinging about not doing their jobs properly because they're a bunch of they were a bunch of lazy bastards. In this, it's genuinely that there's just not enough cars in that lot. And that being said, I really don't understand why this lot is longer than the amount of cars that can fit into the lot. But you know what? That's not really up up to me to judge. Actually, it is up to me to judge. I'm the one playing the game. But still, that should help with some of those problems. Power. Power will be fine for a while. I mean, they're going to deal with being sick for a while, because let's be honest, look at all this air pollution that's going to be going that way. Actually, does that generate air pollution? I can imagine it does. That looks like it generates a hell of a lot of pollution. Where is the air map? Air? Air. Yeah. Air pollution's pretty bad. Primarily, however, up by the coal generator, which, if that doesn't make sense, then I don't know what would make sense, because coal is a very messy, dirty, dirty thing. And I believe the trees is really, all these trees are really all we can do for it. Oh, we should probably check up on the status of that garbage dump, because I do see that, that little pile of fuel there. A fuel? That's not fuel. <laughs> I need to monitor the rate that this is being collected as opposed to how it's burning for a minute. Because if this is burning slower than it's collecting... You don't know, it's... I remember that was almost max at one point. It is still dwindling, but it's just very, very slow. So, since we have the money to expend on this, let's just place another incinerator. I mean, is there any harm in it? I don't think there is. I should probably place another collection truck, too. Just, well, I'll place a couple of them now, just to be, make sure we're getting all of it. I still think we were, even with the one truck, I need everything. There's not really, well, I say that. It just occurs to me how many, ha oh, what? What happened here? Oh my god, the building got sick. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Well, that was a medium wealth one. And the medium wealth, yeah, we're sick, not enough shoppers, I mean shopping, don't let kids can go to school. You know what, okay, I'm going to do something, I'm going to destroy this building, let them rebuild it. And then once they rebuild it, we just lost a lot of money. Wait, what's the problem with the sewage? There is no problem with sewage, shut up. What do they want? After, anyway, what, I, okay. Big city, you know what, we'll do that later. Investment in police. I'm trying to report, what is that trying to say? I don't really know. Alright, 10 more criminals. Oh, I need a police precinct. I'm not doing that yet. I don't- Now I don't have the money for that. But we lost a few thousand per hour. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that the medium wealth isn't particularly happy here. I think we might as well place a school. Honestly, I don't really think that there's any harm that can do. I just need to, as well, get some medium wealth shopping going. So in order to do that... What's the land value like over- Well, they say that- uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> they say that they're so, oh my god, look, we want more stores. And then there's z literally zero demand. There is absolutely no demand for that in any way. But I will humor them, and I will throw down a park over here. Specifically for them, actually. Place that right there. And medium well shop. We'll place one. Actually, let's place two. I lie sometimes, <laughs> and hopefully that'll be enough to satisfy those sections of buildings, because those unfortunately did get involved in the medium wealth area. How's, how is the shuttle bus? How, yeah, how are the shuttle buses doing? They're doing fine. 30 minute wait, 14,000 riders per day. I think that's okay. I don't see a problem with that at least. Now sewage is okay, I mean it could be better, we're gonna need to improve, expand that at some point. You're probably gonna see a lot more ore storage, aren't you? 
our our global our, eh, exports are well, market imports. If you import more resources from the global market, you'll make it worth your while. Okay. Receive ten global market trucks. I can do that, I think. Are these guys meeting demand? Mega produce. What is the demand actually? It told me demand at some point. Produced. Yeah, it's not producing enough. So I need to expand the Omega Co. factory as well. But I know that the ore lot here is usually pretty close to full, so I think I want to get a second ore lot in here. There we go. And the trucks are maxed out. Coal. What's in that place? Did that place the wrong lot? I Oh, that was coal, not ore. My bad. This is ore. That's what I was looking for. But now I have to wait for that to delete, because I want to place that there. Just I think that looks nicer in place than a willy-nilly somewhere over here. Yeah, I need to see what's up with my recording after this, because this is getting pretty pretty garbage frames at the moment. Alright, and that will also have about double the materials there. Where's Omega here? Let's edit you. And the production line. Can we fit another production line here? I would have to... Actually... You know, I... I want to build a road right here, specifically so I can place it right here. So actually, I'm going to do that quick, because I feel like that makes more sense. I don't even know if this is going to work. Might not let me. Uh, you know what? No, I can't do that. I can't. Because if these guys ever expand, I want them to have the room to expand. And what just now occurred to me is if... When those do eventually expand, we're going to lose a ton of money while they're expanding. There we go. That should give more Omega out. We'll probably place down a second factory at some point. Do we get an upgrade yet? What are the upgrades we can get for this? Robotics. Extraction. Okay. Augmented coal and ore shafts. That could be interesting. I'll have to see what that is. And commerce. Trade exports to the commerce division. Trade experts, I'm sorry, at the commerce division provide an efficient flow of resources into and out of the city. I missed that. VT VTOL aircraft bypass roads entirely to import resources for Omega or drones. Trade experts here will use their business connections to grant you access to the raw ore, crude oil, and processor storage lots at the trade port. You can enjoy an unbroken supply chain. I don't know if we're going to get which one of those we're going to get. We will get one of those eventually when it can upgrade. But anyway, that's going to be the, 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 the end of this episode, everybody. I feel like we helped a lot of the infrastructure of the city on this episode. Mostly by expanding these two buildings out quite a bit. This is actually a nice view of the city. Screenshot. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.